Hey Adventures, so today is a book review for Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. This is, of course, one of Agatha Christie's mystery novels and a murder mystery in a Poirot. Uh, I don't know what is the series called. Um, the Hercule Poirot Mystery, so it's in that series specifically. This is the second Agatha Christie I've read, and it's also the second Hercule Poirot mystery that I've read, and uh, we'll get into my thoughts on that a little bit later. But to start off, Agatha Christie seems to be a very good writer with compelling plots and characters and written in an easy enough way to read. So it's very easy to read and comprehend and understand. This one was no different. When I started it, I was excited to read it and I wanted to get ready for the movie that's, uh, it's actually, by the time you're seeing it, it came out last Friday. It is currently out and I am, I haven't watched it yet, but I would like to soon, as soon as I can. I was really hoping that I would absolutely love this book and I didn't hate it by any means, but it wasn't, I found myself not really caring if I picked it back up or not. The mystery was great and I had no problems reading the book, I just wasn't terribly excited to get back into it once I set it down for the day. The next day I was like, oh I guess I need to read this because this is the book I'm reading. It wasn't because, I wasn't genuinely like, oh I gotta get back to this, I, I'm so in, interested and invested in it. So it was. It was good enough, and it was fine, and it, I didn't really have any problems reading it. I just didn't care if I was reading it. I could have set it down and not cared that much and just continued on. I don't read a lot of mysteries, and as I've said, as I mentioned already, I've only read one other Agatha Christie, so maybe it, I should branch out to some of our other series and some of our other standalones and just see if it's me just not loving what I've read of hers or if there's something about her writing that I don't love. But as of right now, I'm kind of thinking that maybe Agatha Christie isn't the author for me, or else maybe I don't love mysteries, which I, I find that hard to believe because I tend to. I feel like I really like mysteries in other mediums. I love mysteries and movies and TV shows, so you'd think I'd love them in stories and books as well, and I'm not sure that I... So, I don't... I don't want to say that it's just mysteries in general that I don't like, or if it's just Agatha Christie that's not for me, but I don't know. I just find it interesting and kind of concerning that of the two Agatha Christie's that I read, novels that I've read, they've both just been like a fine for me. They weren't anything that was particularly impressive, and I don't, I don't know. Maybe Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile aren't two of her better works. I don't know. I haven't read enough of them to know. But as of right now, I'm just kind of... That was fine. On them. I wasn't particularly blown away and I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not instantly reaching for another one of her books. It wasn't a bad book by any means, but I did have some issues with the ending. I didn't have an issue with the reveal of who did it. That was fine, that was good. I and actually thought that um, was probably the best way that the story could have gone. There's other ways that it could have gone that would have made sense. You could make any way it would make sense if you wanted to fairly easily. But the way that they chose, or that Agatha Christie chose, I think is probably the best way for that story to go. But what I didn't love was the very end of the story, what happens to the perpetrator, and then to add on to that final act of the perpetrator, how Paro responds to it, and how he's not just merely indifferent to it, he's kind of hoped that that was the way that it was going to end up. And I didn't, I didn't like that, that wasn't a, it's a theme, and a thing that I don't like, and so Seeing it in the book, I was just like, okay, I, that took my enjoyment down quite a bit. So, mixed with the not really being terribly invested with it to begin with, and then the not liking how it ended, is kind of just, uh, um, it made me a little bit mad and it made me just, I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't love the story that much. Reading the story and learning how everything played together and was fun and interesting, I'm not saying that it wasn't. I just couldn't get very invested in it. I had a hard time going back and sitting down and reading more of it. I just, it was fine. I didn't didn't really want to. And that's, I, I know I've said that phrase, it was fine several times now, but it kind of sums up my feelings for the book. There were some cool things about it, some really fun things about it. I love the setting, I love the, just, there's a lot of things about it that I really liked. The characters were, I actually did enjoy the characters quite a bit, and the more you got to know the characters, the more I enjoyed the characters. But it didn't keep me invested in the story. I, it's kind of hard to explain. So like I said, the book wasn't bad. 
just didn't work for me, at least at this time. Maybe if I'd have read it at a different time in my life or if uh, whatever, whatever might have happened, it might have worked a lot better for me and I might have enjoyed it a lot more. Maybe if I'd read more mysteries at this point or was reading more consistently, then maybe I would have enjoyed it more. I'd say if I were to give it a star rating, it'd probably be about a 3.5 for me. It was fine. There was some really good things about it. Maybe a three, I guess, a three star. I don't know, but it was, it was fine. It wasn't anything spectacular. And I, I am glad that I read it because I wanted to read it before going into the movie and seeing what the movie did and what the movie changed and all that stuff. But I also don't really care that I read the book that much. Like I, I feel like I wouldn't have missed a whole lot if I hadn't read it. So that's kind of about where I'm at. If you like Agatha Christie, if you like Murder Mysteries, if you like Hercule Poirot, any of that stuff, it's probably a good chance that you'll love this book and I may just not be for me and it may just not be for me at this time. I don't know. I will probably, I've got I think three other Agatha Christie's sitting on my shelf so I'll probably go through and read those when I feel like I need to, like I want to read a mystery. I've also got several Sherlock Holmes so I'd like to read those. I know I actually really enjoyed uh, The Hound of the Baskervilles that I read a while back so I'm, I'm thinking that it may just be Agatha Christie. Um, we'll have to see, I'll have to read more and find out. But for now, it was just, it was okay. I'm glad I read it in some ways and just also don't feel like I would have missed a whole lot if I hadn't read it. So that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. Thank you guys for watching An Airdite Adventure. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like and comment down below and subscribe to us if you haven't already. We'll see you guys again soon. We post videos every Monday and Thursday. Thanks for watching. Stay warm.